Hi, today I wanted to run you through how to do um, your mono print workshop, um, home workshop that you have. So in your box, you will have um, a blue mat, a tray, a roller, um, some printing ink, um, some paper, um, and you've also got a palette knife, um, a pen, and um, a, a, a lolly stick. And also, the very important piece is the uh, clear perspex that you'll have. So this is what you'll use to print on. Um, so just to give you a bit of an idea, so a mono print is, um, it means a single print. So mono as in one, um, rather than printing as uh, reproducing lots of the same image. So you'll just be creating a one-off. So you'll be transferring um, an image onto uh, a blank piece of paper. And I'll show you, I'll run you through quickly two different types of um, ways of doing this with the Perspex sheet. Um, one of them, you'll see in this example that the line is created where the paint is. So this is where the paint is on the paper. And I'll show you how, how we do this sort of print. And then another type is where actually the line is where the paint isn't. So it's actually, you create the line by the gap in the paint. Um, so there are two different types of mono prints um, that you can produce on this. Um, so yeah, they're quite simple techniques to run through. So I'll start. Ooh. Um, and just show you some of your equipment. So you have this Perspex um, sheet, clear Perspex sheet, um, and you lay that onto your blue mat. You also have, you have a tray to put all your things, dirty things on when you need to put them down. And you've got some special um, printing ink. So this is uh, specifically for printing. It's called relief inks and it's much thicker. So it is still, you can still wash it with water, but you'll find if you open it up, you can use your palette knife just to move it around, mix it up a bit. Um, and I'll show you in a minute how to actually put it onto your Perspex sheet. You see I've got all little dry bits coming off of it. <laughs> um, you've also got your roller, so you use that to roll the paint onto your sheet um, and you've got a, a biro pen and you've got a, um, a wooden stick. So we'll, I'll show you how to use that in a moment. So to start, got all little bits on here, I'll just clear that off a bit. So you take your paint, open it up and put the lids on the tray and use your knife, palette knife, just to take out a small amount. So you don't want much, you just want a little bit on your palette knife, just like that. And then in the centre, you just place a small amount of the paint. There we are, that's plenty. And you can scrape off any excess pop that back in there and then close the lid of the paint screw it up um, I've also put in there some gloves because it does get a bit messy um, and you've also got an apron as well to protect your clothes but um, you might want to put some extra newspaper around on your table depending on where you're doing it um, but this is all uh, water soluble, so it can all be washed in water. But you do want to avoid getting it on your clothes or any surfaces, just in case it stains it. So once you've got your blob in the centre, you then take your roller and you just want to cover the very centre. You don't want to cover the whole sheet. We're just doing a small area in the middle because um, we're going to do quite small prints. So you start just by rolling it backwards and forwards in the center. Then you turn it 90 degrees and then you go up and down the other way. And as you see, it doesn't cover it straight away, 
that if you keep going over it and going alternating between going one way and then the other slowly it starts to spread evenly across the center so you'll have a square in the middle and that's about you know as big as you want it because i've just given you quite small pieces of paper Once you think it looks even, like that, you can pop that roller back in the tray and then you can take a piece of paper. And the trick with this first way of printing is you want to place the paper on top of the ink that we've just rolled out very lightly. So we just place it on and let it go. It's really important not to press on this paper now because what we want to avoid is putting too much of that paint onto the whole of the paper because what we do now is we take the pen and then without resting our hand on the paper so i find it easier if i put my hand just to my, my left hand as i'm right handed if i just put my left hand here and place my right hand, wrist on top I can then use that to lean on without putting pressure onto the paper. So you really want to avoid putting any pressure onto this paper other than where you're going to draw. So now you can draw an image onto the paper. I'm just gonna do a very simple line image and you can do anything you like. Um, it works quite well as a line drawing. Um, I'm doing, oops, I'm not a very good flower here. I'm trying to do a sunflower. It's not a great one, but it shows you enough how it works. And I'm going to do some details in the middle. And you might want to just explore doing patterns. You don't necessarily need to draw something that looks like anything. You don't have to draw a picture if you don't want to. You can just explore making marks. Um, so I'll give you plenty of paper to try out lots of different things. Add some more petals in. So then, and you can draw on as much as you want. Um, I haven't filled in any areas. You can colour parts in. Um, so you can do bigger bits. I'll just show you what it looks like by if I just colour this petal, petal in here. So you can block that out. Just being careful you don't put any pressure anywhere else on the paper. Um, so then, when you f you're happy with your drawing, you lift it up very slowly. And you can see that you have um, an image of the flower that I drew on the back in the yellow. Um, it has picked up a bit of the paint on the way around because it might be that maybe I could have done with slightly less um, paint. Um, but it's it gives a really nice kind of mottled effect. I quite like the fuzzy edge that you get with this process. Um, so that's one way of doing it and actually what you can do is where you see you've taken the marks off you can then use another piece of paper and this time you place it on top and you press it down firmly just doing it with my fist there pressing it Let's see what happens now Ooh. lift it up and there we are, you've got a little image of that one. It's quite light, but you still you still, still can see the drawing coming through. So actually, I say you've got mono print, but you have got two kind of opposites, which are quite interesting to compare. So 
that's one way of doing a mono print. So another way of doing a mono print is where you have, um, you're creating the line where the paint is missing. And to do this, I'm just gonna do it over the top of the last print. print. Oh. You take some more paint. This time you probably could just have a little bit more paint on there. It could be a bit thicker for this one. It's a bit of trial and error to see how it goes. Whoops. Getting paint everywhere. And again, use your roller. Roll it out one way then the other. If it is really hot when you're doing this, you have to be aware that these paints they're water-based they will start to dry out and get a bit stickier and maybe not work so well so it might be that if it is very hot you just do it for a short time and then try it again at another time rather than doing it for kind of hours and hours you maybe just want to try it for 20 minutes then wash it off and start again fresh and um, so once you've rolled out another bit of um, paint so I've done it the same size to fit the paper that I've got. Actually, I don't know if I've got any more paper to use here. Oh, I'll get some in a minute. So this time you can actually draw using your um, wooden lolly stick that I have um, I've put in your pack. And you can use the end here now to scrape over the wet paint this way. You can explore making marks. In the paint, you can be quite free. And loose. You see the lines I produce where I've taken away, I'm scraping off the paint. So that kind of effect. There we are. Right, now I'm going to just quickly grab some paper. Um, I've just got a bit here out of a pad. So this time you press it on and try not to, you won't want it to slide about on there. You need it to stay still. So this time you press it, hold it firmly one side and then push it down. And hopefully when we lift it up, we should have our image sort of it so i'll just give it one extra go so press it down and we'll see if we can take a se second print here press it firmly let's see what happens this time there we are that one's better so there you can see that the drawing has come through where i've taken the paint off so again actually we got two prints out of that so yeah, some techniques for you to try. Um, so then it can all be washed off with water. You can just run it under, you don't need any soap. You can just run it under water and that paint will come off. And like I say, if you want to just have a little go and then wash it off and start again at another time. Um, but I'll give you plenty of these little bits of paper. So you want to make sure that you're covering this 
to um, roughly the size of the paper. You obviously don't want too much paint around the outside because that might get a bit messy. But also you, you want to try and fill most of it so that when you're drawing, you don't end up drawing on bits that haven't got paint on them. So that you make sure you get your whole picture. So yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Any problems, just give me a, a ring on the phone number on your sheet. Good luck.